All right, so today starts our unit on polygons. Um, for 8.1, we're going to be working on it all week. So a polygon is a closed figure that is formed by three or more segments called sides. Each segment that forms a polygon is a side of the polygon. The common endpoint of two sides is a vertex of the polygon. A segment that connects any two non-consecutive vertices is a diagonal. So there in our image, you see that the diagonals are in green, the vertex is in red, and then a side is in a light blue. One super important thing about polygons is it has to have straight sides. There can be no curves in a polygon. Here are some names of polygons, and it's really important that you know these names because you might have problems that refer to your polygon being a decagon. What's a decagon? Well, it's a polygon that has 10 sides. So you've got to be able to know these names. Three sides is triangle, four, quadrilateral, five, pentagon, six, hexagon, seven, hep. Octagon, eight octagon, nine nonagon, ten decagon, eleven undecagon, twelve dodecagon, and then n an ngon would just be the number of sides. So anything above a twelve, like if you had a fourteen-sided figure, you would say a fourteen gon, or you could say fourteen-sided figure, but Anything above a 12, you usually won't have a reference to. There are names for them, but they're not quite as important or as practical. So if we were to label the following sides, AE would be a side, BD in green would be a diagonal, and then angle C there, that would be a vertex. Now, tell whether the figure is a polygon or not. If it is a polygon, name it by the number of sides. Example one, all has straight sides. So yes, this is a polygon. Or let me just say yes. And how many sides does it have? I don't know, let me number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides. So I'm going to go back over here to my list and I'm going to go down the column and see that a six-sided figure is called a hexagon. So this is a hexagon. Number two, yes, this is a polygon. It's, everything is closed. How many sides do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven sides. If I go back and look, a seven-sided figure is a heptagon. All right, even though these are little sides, you still have to count them. Make sure you do that. Example three is a no. Oh, I might want my pen. Is a no. There's a curve. Are any of the other figures a no? Example six would be a no because there's another curve. And what about five? Five has an opening right here. Five is a no because of that opening. We would say because this is not a closed figure. So a polygon has to be closed. And right here, there's an opening. So that one is a no for that reason. So example four would be a yes, and let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has nine sides. Nine sides is a nonagon.
All right. So there's just some practice on stating whether or not it's a polygon and then stating its name. So some other characteristics of a polygon. Um, these two things are something you've um, learned before. We call a polygon equilateral if all of the sides are congruent. And it's equiangular if all of its angles are congruent. This leads us to regular polygons. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. So all of the segments and all of the angles are going to be the same. If it is not the same, it would be irregular, okay? Irregular is their different sizes. All Angles and sides are the same for regular. Let me put that word in there. We also can refer to polygons as being concave or convex. A polygon is concave if any part of a diagonal contains points in the exterior of the polygon. So what does that mean? That means that... Um, if I drew a diagonal from this point to this point, that diagonal would be on the outside of the polygon. So that's how we can um, determine if it's concave. A convex means that all of your diagonals, when you draw them, they will always be on the inside of the polygon. Um, So another way you can tell the difference is if you extended the sides, um, would those sides all extend to the outside part or would, it also, or would it extend into the inside part? All right. So example seven, this is concave. All right, these points right here so here's a segment. If I extended the segment, see how it goes through the inside of the polygon? Also, if I wanted to check it with the diagonals, see that diagonal is on the outside. Number eight is convex. Nine is convex. And 10 is concave. All right, now we have to determine if they're regular or irregular, and then we have to determine if they're convex or concave. So regular, they all have to have the same side measurement. Does example 11 have all of the sides the same measure? Yes, the sides are all the same measure, but what about the angles? Well, if I look at these angles, they're the same. However, when I highlight these angles, notice they have a different mark. So this polygon is actually irregular, and it is concave. Example 12, are all the sides the same? Yes. Are all the angles the same? Yes. So this would be regular, concave. Example 13, are all the sides and all the angles the same measure? Yes. So this is regular and it is concave. Example 14, are all the sides the same? No, that's pretty easy to see real quick. So this one is irregular. And notice if I wanted to connect those two points with a diagonal, the diagonal would be on the outside. So this is irregular and it is convex. That's where our video will start, stop for today, and this is um, part one, 
and tomorrow we'll have part two of 8-1.